Where will that be? A harvest for the world. When will that be? A harvest for, for the people. Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this here mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, it's it, it it took me a minute to really respond to this story uh, because it's so sad, and it's just indicative of what goes on in our communities every day when it comes to drugs and alcohol. And how we are so desensitized to corruption um, and pretty much real life because of drugs and alcohol. Then it makes this story about this young lady that was pregnant even more worse, even more heartbreaking. So Takia... Lost her life, shoplifted bottles of alcohol. I want y'all to think about that. Her and her baby are dead because it's 21, 21 years old. They said because she had a drinking problem. Her grandmama said she had a drinking problem. I mean, uh, Kroger, so, you know, of course, they released the surveillance, you know, of what happened. It's really sad. The girl who was pregnant died on August 24th after being shot by an officer in the parking lot of Kroger. She didn't get out. She didn't stop. She didn't take the punishment, I guess she tried to drive off. I guess she think that these police is playing with us. I I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how we become so desensitized that when the police tell us to stop and they draw their guns, that we still think we can outmaneuver these, these the police. She was shot in the parking lot of the Kroger, of course, located at 5991 Sunbury Road in Blendon Township, and her unborn daughter did not survive. Surveillance video from inside the state liquor store shows Young putting several bottles of liquor into a bag that she was carrying. The Blendon Township Police Department said two other unidentified women also placed bottles in their bags. They all left the store, setting off theft alarm on their way out. I mean, I guess they don't think they think they above the law. They think like 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 the Republicans. Except they don't have the right skin color for that. You don't get shot down in a hurry. You Kroger employee told police who were at the store on an unrelated matter that multiple people were fleeing the store with stolen items. That included Young, who had allegedly taken multiple bottles of alcohol. What you doing anyway with those bottles of alcohol and you got a baby in your belly? You see, it's all bad. And I'm not trying to make no excuses for the cops or make no excuses for her and say she should... You headed for self-destruction, and everybody around her knew that. 
And either you ostracize people like that or you drop a dime. I mean, you 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 have no choice when you're watching somebody self-destruct. Because it's not just about Takiya. She got a baby in her belly. Well, now both of them did. See, because I would have called CPS. I'm just letting you know right now on her ass. And told them my sister, my cousin, my auntie, whoever. My friend is sitting up here drinking alcohol. And she got a baby in her belly. And she don't seem to care. She's got an alcohol problem. So we got to get this taken care of because it's not fair to the kid. Anybody ever seen a child with fetal alcohol syndrome? That's what's wrong with a lot of y'all running around here. You don't even know what the hell's wrong with you. A lot of y'all parents was drinking a whole bunch of alcohol. And that's why your ears sit lower down on your cranium than they should. Like most people. It's not... It's not even balanced. That's the first sign, a physical sign, that you're dealing with a person with alcohol fetal syndrome. This is so sad because the shots was fired less than one minute after she left the store. And they killed her over some damn liquor. Over some damn liquor. I mean, just think about that. And she didn't think that she had to obey a lawful order and challenge the police, knowing as crazy as they are, that she's going to get away with that. This is in Ohio, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I mean, this is just, I didn't want to do nothing about this story because it was so depressing to me. But I, I'm, I'm going to do it now for the baby that was in her belly. Because that's why I always say kids are in hostage situations. Because the baby forced to drink alcohol. The baby's forced to smoke fucking crack. The baby is smoke forced to inhale cigarettes. Heaven help us all. Um, it 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 is all so mind boggling and it's all so shameful that you would have to lose your life like this. It is ridiculous. Anyway. I know y'all talked about this, and I, how many of y'all know people that's addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, and don't nobody want to say nothing about it? Crackheads. You don't want to get them the help they need, and then you're scared to be called a snitch, so you allow them to wreak havoc on your family. And then on their unborn children. The officers were heard telling Young to get out of the car multiple times. Young was heard responding to the officer, for what? For what? After a brief conversation and refusing to get out of the vehicle, Young put the car in gear and began driving the vehicle forward with the officer directly in the vehicle's path. The officer fired one shot through the front windshield and his truck. Shots were fired less than one minute after she walked out of the store. Young's car traveled about 50 feet before coming to a stop on the sidewalk outside the store. One of the officers, is, you know, had broke the window to the driver's door. Additional body footage released Friday shows officers rendering aid to Young. Um, so sad. So sad. 
freaking senseless. Oh my God. So senseless, y'all. This is the kind of stuff that we're dealing with. Y'all will lose y'all life over nothing. Additional footage released shows the officers rendering aid to Young. Um, the newly released video of an officer is seen beginning to pull Young out by her arm. The vehicle then begins to move again due to her foot being on the gas pedal. The vehicle then comes to a rest against the store. Young is seen falling out of the vehicle and before officers are seen pulling her onto the sidewalk. An officer then removed the bag from her arm and began placing her in handcuffs. Really. One of the officers runs to his cruiser to get a medical kit and returns to Young where he and the officer began rendering aid 90, roughly 90 seconds after shots were fired. A little over two minutes later, an officer begins chest compression. Yeah, this is this is insane, insane. No, I have a story uh, about something that happened um, about a mile from where I live. Young man. Still is some cupcakes out of the store. And <laughs> the security, so called security crackhead, shot him in the head over some 35 cent cakes. You know. We got to do better, y'all. We got to do better. And we got to address these issues that we got. Because I know for her family, that was just gut-wrenching and heart Ooh, to watch. They didn't have to kill her. But she didn't have to go in there and steal that, that alcohol out of there either. Wow. Insane. Listen, I can't. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and please share the channel. Oh, God. Oh, the baby dead. He didn't have a chance. He, She didn't have a chance. She didn't have a chance. Your mama was drinking before you was born. And put you in that kind of situation. So with that being said, you know, I'm out. I'm just.